so, Mrs. Goody Two Boots. Why don't you shut those lizard lips and... Hey, what's going on? Cass lover here thinks she can get more quinkin' than me. She's delusional. That's enough. You guys have got to learn to get along. You've got a job to do. Now, what do we know about this quinkin' expert? Well, all your mum told me is that his name is Steve and he's really smart. Uh, yeah, but how will we know when we found him? What does he look like? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll know. Do you smell goober berries? You should quit before you hurt yourself, Shazza. Need a hand there, Shazza? Awesome. Still think you can beat me?
there's a lot more where that came from. That's one more than you, Fluffy. There's a lot more where that came from. Expert around here. Hey, Orange Dinosaur. Hey, Yellow Kitties. They didn't follow you, did they? No, but do you know where we can find the Quinkin Expert? His name is Steve, too. If we don't find him, we won't be able to stop the Quinking. Oh, uh, no, not him. He's the one who tells them what to do. I better make sure my goober juice is safe. Hang on a sec. How do you know about the Quinking? When you say they, have you been talking about the Quinkin all this time? Are you Steve the Quinkin expert? I told you they were coming, but you didn't go hide your berries, did you? Then you know how to stop them. Who them? Shh, they'll hear you. If you tell us how we can stop the Quinkin, we'll make sure they never bother you again. Okay, 
I'll tell you a story. Way, way long ago, when this land was much hotter. The Monday before last Friday. No, before that even. One million years ago, in the Jurassic Age. That's when they came. They did stupid things. They smashed up their hills and drank all the rivers. I didn't like them. Nuh-uh. So I gathered up the shadow stones and a whole big pile of goober berries. Mmm, goober berries. After they were all gone, I buried the shadow ring in a very hot place. So why haven't you dug it up and used it to get rid of them again? I've been hiding so they can't find my goo juice. Plus, I've been too busy looking for my goo juice. Plus, I can't remember where I hid it. Well, you said it was somewhere hot. Did I? Oh, I remember now. It was Kakaboom Island. Quick, let's go. Thanks, Gooby Steve. <laughs> Funny little orange rats. So, you're sure that's where the shadow ring is hidden? I'm positive, mate. Looks like we're off to Kakaboom Island then. Are you sure you want to go, Fluffy? It's going to be dangerous. Kakaboom Island is an active volcano full of boiling hot lava and sharp owie rocks. Hmm. Sounds like my kind of place. Let's go, partner! That clown down at the race arena, Rusty, uh, Rabbit, or, or whatever his name is, just called. He wanted to challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one race. I told him you didn't have time, but if you want to go and destroy his dreams, it's no feathers off my back.
sure I am. I heard you had a challenge for me. You got that right. I challenge you to a race. One on one. Man to man. Mono a mono. With Redback Jack. What? And uh, also with Redback Phil and me. And just to make it interesting, no power ups time. Come on, Belvedere. It'll be fun. You're so gone. We lost. This is all your fault, Redback Jack! Yeah, you had nothing! Leave me alone, Rose! Rose? <laughs> I'll never live this down. Time, mate. Thylacine has come under major attack from the Quinken. They mustn't have heard that we've already found Steve. In any case, there are still innocent townies living there too. Get over to the Gunyip, mate, and destroy those flying fortresses before they reach Thylacine. The Quinkin found out about thylacine somehow. Funny that. But it's nothing we can't handle, mate. We've been in stickier situations. That's right. So how about we stop the gas bagging and get on board? We'll show those Quinkin what for, hey chaps?
You little ripper, mate! The townies of Thylacine owe you a great debt of gratitude, sir. I've never seen such heroic flying. Ah, just doing my job. No need to be modest, mate. This victory will boost morale all over Southern Rivers. Oh, I don't know about that. Not only that, the echoes of your bravery will extend to the far reaches of the universe. Evildoers everywhere will cower at your name. Justice will be seen on the faces of newborn babes. The wind itself will appear for the liberation of... They'll do. Yeah, let's not go crazy, mate. Fair enough. This is it, mate. The big one. If you survive Kakaboom Island and return with the Shadow Ring and Shadow Stones, you'll be able to save Southern Rivers from the flood of Quinken. Fluffy's going with you. We're all in this together. Good luck, mate.